fish and chips has been the staple food of Britain for you know the past hundred hundred years. And to, di to suddenly dilute that industry is, is really worrying. It's lunchtime at this fish and chip shop in Aberdeen. The fryers bubble away, cooking a steady stream of orders, a golden crispy brown. But while the suppers are delicious, the price of making them is rapidly leaving a sour taste. The increase in prices of the produce has been astronomical. Oil back in at the beginning of 2020, it was um, £12.50 for a 12 kilo uh, block of um, vegetable fat. What's it now? Um, it's now 18.99. Wow. 18.99, and um, we've been warned by our supplier that that's due to increase again soon. It's going to be the most challenging time to run a takeaway business ever. An unwanted storm of soaring prices due to COVID and Brexit is leading to concern that a third of local chippies you, could so soon <laughs> shut the shop. Good, Alex. Uh, so here we have it, a box of fish and chips, a perfect partner when you're coming to the seaside on a day like today. Now this cost £8.50, that's up by 40 pence in just the last week and Alex says that that's still not enough to cover all of his costs. Now the wholesale price of fish, haddock in this case, has risen by around 80%. If I wanted cod, then that's gone up by around 75%. The batter that it's cooked in has nearly doubled in price and the wholesale price of a side, for instance mushy peas, well that's gone up by around 120%. And that's just a flavour of some of the wholesale problems facing chip shops throughout the country. But the Scottish Fish Friars Federation says soaring energy costs, the looming hike in VAT to 20%, is causing even more uncertainty. Right now we're living life on the on the edge, um, not knowing what's I mean, six, we're under six weeks till the 1st of April, and we really do not know what's happening. Um, and our, we, we, we're holding up our hands saying, please, please help us. And you've just got to help I hope that our Chancellor's listening. It really is a critical point. For now, shops continue to trade as best they can. But after years of disruption, many fear more difficult days are ahead. Brandon Cook, STV News.